What are the signs to know if this guy is cheating on you or not? Ladies, I'm sorry to do this video, but I've seen so many situations lastly where this guy was just cheating on you, lacking respect to you and the relationship, but is doing it in a way to make you crazy. So you would think that you're the problem? You would think that it's because of your behavior that he's cheating on you? And I want to talk about this situation because sometimes infidelity can happen. If you are not happy in a relationship, you don't really know how to communicate, you don't want to hurt the person in front of you, you will do something bad and very stupid. But in this case, you will try to make it work. Some other time, you would be in a relationship, ladies, with a guy that would cheat on you. And when you will find out, this guy will try to put the fault on you. There is a difference by saying, hey, the relationship was not fulfilling. I you know, lacked some sex, lack of communication, whatever. And saying, hey, it's because of you. Yes, I've been cheating on you, but you know, you didn't do this, you didn't do that, and being aggressive. And I've seen this situation a couple of times in the last few weeks. So I decided to do this video. I want you to know that there is a lot of toxic men, more than you think. That's what I realized as a relationship expert. I was thinking that narcissist people, you know, it's like, oh yeah, everyone talks about it. It's the new term, so people will use it. But when I'm coaching you guys, I understand. There is a lot of narcissist men. There is a lot of men that are not here to make you happy. They are not here to build something with you. They are not here to create something amazing. No. They just want to control you. They just want to use you. And so we need to know, you need to know, ladies, that this is not just for fun. This is not just the mode. You know, the mud is the, the moment like, oh, there's narcissist here, narcissist there. Because they exist. Let me be honest with you. They exist. And so I'm doing this video because I want you to know when this guy has a weird behavior that is maybe cheating on you. And if he doesn't try to make it work to save your relationship, if his only goal is to make you doubt about yourself, make you consider that you're not good enough for him. This is a toxic man. Narcissist or not, he's toxic. And you will have to regain control. And this means that you will have to be distant from him. Before to tell you exactly what are the signs, how to know if this guy is having an affair, cheating on you, I want to make sure that you want to join this community. If you're not already a subscriber, just come here. It's free. I do a lot of videos, I do lives, I respond to your questions because I really want to make you understand that if you go in a toxic environment, if you're facing someone that is cheating on you, this can destroy, destroy your self-confidence. And I don't want that at all. So what I want you to know is when someone is cheating all the time, all the time, they will try to not just put the fault of the infidelity on you, but they will be here to tell you that everything you do is wrong. So if you're facing a man that he always has something to say, he's always angry, he's always negative, whatever you do, it's never good enough. He's doing it because he wants to put pressure on you. He's doing it because he doesn't want you to think about what's going on doesn't want you to think about the fact that he's maybe late at home, that he's spending more time with his friends, that he's, you know, taking good care of himself, which was not the case before. All of this are signs that this guy is maybe cheating on you because of his behavior. But because he knows that what he's doing is wrong, he wants to put pressure on you. He will tell you that you're the wrong one. He will tell you that what you do is not good enough. I'm not talking about the fact that you know that he's cheating and then you made him realize that you know. No, no, before that. They are so negative. They are so arrogant. They just want you to feel bad. 
so they know that whatever they do, you will still be there. That's also a mindset because they want to control you. Sign number two. In the meantime, you know, it's the continuity of this sign. But they want to create arguments. When a guy is cheating on you, he will start arguments for nothing. And he wants to keep this climate. Why? Because he feels that if there is this environment in a relationship, it will justify the fact that he can cheat on you. And so if I can justify it, let me create even more and more and more arguments. This is what's going on. So if you see that your boyfriend, husband, is starting a lot of arguments, is always negative. Whatever you do, there is nothing positive. That's not a good sign for us, especially if you're thinking that he's cheating on you. Sign number three. They will reproach you what they do. Let's say he's quiet, he will reproach you to be quiet. Let's say that he goes out with his friends, he will reproach you to go out with your friends. So, he's not rational at all. He's not rational because he will reproach you what he does. And that is the reason why you need to not listen to him. So, that would be sign number three. Sign number four, they always have an excuse for everything. They will always have a reason. They will always tell you that they have a good reason for anything. So they just want you to believe the bullshit. If he has a solution for everything and he's not taking responsibility for what's going on, you know that there is something weird and something that will be very negative for you. The sign number five, that you know that this guy is cheating on you, that he's having an affair, it's when he won't be able to invest in the relationship. Usually, men that are cheating on you, they put all of their creativity in the new, if we can call it, relationship. But regarding you, they want the routine. They want their habits because it makes them feel more confident. So if you're facing a guy that loves to go out, loves to do a lot of things with his friends, but not with you, you can ask yourself, why is he having this behavior? What's wrong with him? So these are the signs that you know that this guy would be cheating on you. That this guy is not someone that you can trust. My dear friend and colleague, Coach Adrian, is amazing. He has created a free masterclass about infidelity. If you want to learn more about it, you can have access to the video. Just write down in the description. Click on it. It's for free. But you will be able to understand What's going on? What's life in this infidelity? And how to manage the situation? Because I know sometimes you want to talk to him, right? You want to express your feelings. You want to ask him, are you seeing someone? If you knew the number of people, women, that were asking a guy, are you cheating on me? They say, no. Why do you say that? You're cheating on me. And then a couple of weeks later, they realized that they were right. He was cheating. The one that was saying, no, how can you say that? You know, I can say it. I can, you can believe me. We have children together, blah, 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 blah. You need to look at these signs. If you ask me, Alex, what is the number one sign? Before to answer, I want to make sure that you smash the like button, subscribe. Come and join this community. Don't stay by yourself. Men will cheat when they are negative at home. Men will cheat when they cannot bring their joy at home. That's the moment they will start to find something else with another woman. And I'm so sorry for that. Now, it doesn't mean it's over. It doesn't mean I'm suggesting to you to turn off the relationship, to leave him alone. No, no, no. Unless he's very toxic. Unless he's not respecting you. Unless all of your friends are telling you that you're crazy. Because every time I do a coaching, your friends, they tell you, no, this is way too much. This is a lot of manipulation. This is very toxic. You need to leave him alone. You need to be by yourself. 
You don't want to listen to your friends because they are too close to you. So sometimes you would book private coaching with me and the link is in the description box below. We talk about it and I explain to you what is it toxic exactly? What are the next steps for you? But sometimes it means you need to cut it off. No more communication. No more possibility for this guy to manipulate you. That's not where we are going to go. Okay? So you have the signs to know if he's cheating on you. You know how to regain control of the situation. Please, make sure to continue this journey. You have a lot of free resources in the description box below with Coach Adrian or even with myself. And we will be able to assist you. Because I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. I know it's not easy when you suspect your husband, boyfriend to cheat on you. It's just... It's just very difficult emotionally. But I'm glad. I'm glad you're here because I know I can assist you and I will give you my best. So I will see you soon for a new video. Remember to join this community. I see you soon, ladies.